Since a Mish here, I want to welcome you to another episode of Q Show Corner. Uh, today, let's talk about pericardium four. Now, pericardium four isn't really a point that we that we work with a lot, but we do. It's actually located on the forearm, and I'll show you in a second how we use it. So let's get to it. So we are talking about pericardium four. Now, when we talk about pericardium four, it's located on the forearm. Now, um, we uh, we've we've talked about pericardium six in the past. Pericardium six is located right about here. Okay, pericardium three is located right about here. Pericardium four, you really don't need to know where those two points are. You just need to know where the wrist is and the crease of the elbow because it's essentially right in the middle. So, but it's right in the middle of the forearm. So it is essentially right here. Now, when it comes to um, uh, activating this point, it's simply just a direct in and to the core. So you're kind of getting, or not to the core, but to the core of the, of the forearm. So you're kind of getting in between the muscles and the ligaments right down into the middle. And you can kind of see them wince. I don't know if that was the point or my fingernail, but using just a, a knuckle getting down there, see? Now, this can be used in a couple different ways. One of the things, the way I use it in, um, I, uh, in my dojo is I use it as a slap, okay? So now I am activating a couple other points along here, but if I'm using that point, we've got, uh, um, I've got my, uh, my, my hard and my soft, going along yin, so hard on yin, and I can kind of come in here, and he can wince up. Now, can you feel that hand at all? No. Okay, let's... okay. So, now, double slap, I can come in here, strong coming in here. So this is gonna be that, you know, he's, uh, he's grabbed onto my, grabbed onto my lapel, me coming down, I can come here. Now, this actually works really well with, uh, with a crimp. I just happen to have one here. Um, now, a crimp, this is actually uh, um, designed by uh, Grandmaster Bram Frank. He's uh, my knife instructor. Crimp stands for uh, Compact Medium Impact Range Tool. Um, but, uh, but when we open it up, Nice little jibbed. I could do a whole episode on this. I'm really wanting to talk about the bramp here. So, see the little bramp there? Now, here's the thing is, say he's uh, reaching for my lapel, he's reaching for a tool on my belt. As law enforcement security, I could use that, and I could come directly in and press in on that point, and that's gonna open up his hand. So, so make a fist, push in, see how that hand opens? So a great tool, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up in here and then maybe even just draw up his forearm. So I'm, I, I could use that tool for it, <clears throat> or I could just come in and knock it like I'm knocking on a door. So if he makes that fist, got his hand open. So anyway, I'm going to stop uh, beating up on Thomas for this episode. Um, pericardium, uh, it's fire. Now... With, uh, um, with this point, it is only fire. Um, it's yin, it's on the inside of the forearm, it's yin, so um, don't really have to go any more than that. But uh, take this back to your dojo, play, have fun, and remember, always be good to your okie. We'll see you on the next video. Well, folks, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any comments or questions, please put that in the comment section below. Also, like and share this video as much as possible. That really helps us get our name out there. And if you're not already subscribing or following us on Facebook or YouTube, please do so now.